How are you doing? My name is Anthony Panagakos. I'm the offense coordinator at Portion High School, and today we're going to talk about the Sling T pass game. The Sling T pass game is a three-step drop game where if you have the undecided lineman, if we get rid of that ball on the third step, no matter what kind of blitz they have going on, we'll get that ball off. The other thing is it's a short passing game. We want to train the defense to attack the short plays, so if our quarterback doesn't have that big arm, it makes the long balls that much easier to throw. Train the defense to come up, 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 make what, <clears throat> with the short plays, the short completions, five-yard hitches. Once they start biting on those hitches, we hit them with the long ball. We're going to look at five main plays of the Sling T run game. We're going to look at two-man patterns, a one-man pattern, and a three-man pattern. So you get a good idea of what we do. Okay, let's take a quick look at the Sling T switch. The switch is a side adjustment play. And I know what you're going to say, side adjustment is too confusing. I don't want to give the receivers or quarterbacks options. I'm telling you, this is the easiest one you're ever going to run. There's only two choices, deep or short. Plain and simple. With no curls, in, outs, it's deep or short. That's how we look at it. Let's look at the H-backs route first. Because this is the easiest read. He's going to go round, all wide receiver, and his read is on the corner. If the corner drops back, we're going to turn and stop now. Just turn around, no fancy routes. He, don't, he drops off, turn, stop, catch the football, make something happen. If the corner decides he wants to play up, then I'll take that every time. It's an easy throw for my quarterback. We're at one-on-one. -on -one. All he's got to do is lay it out there. It does not have to be a perfect, accurate throw. All he's got to do is lay it up there and let the athlete go get the football. Our wide receiver is the first man to switch. He's looking for the hole. The hole is where the strong safety used to be. Strong safety's responsibility is curl to flat. So if he sees the H-back go this way, H, the strong safety is going to react. Once that strong safety reacts, we're going to just reoccupy where he was. He leaves, I'm going to stand right there. I'll take the curl. That's the first read for the quarterback. The quarterback's read is on the strong safety. The strong safety vacates. I'm taking the curl zone now. If the strong safety sits, the, we're just going to continue on the line. The read goes to the outside man because if he sits, that means I held him and I'm holding the free safety. I got my best foot player one on one against the corner. I'll take my chance to that on that read. If the defense comes out and there's no free safety, this is when our quarterback starts salivating. Okay? This is the easiest throw for the quarterback. Anytime there's no free safety, we're going to take the middle of the field. We're going to take it now. This is shortest and easiest throw for a quarterback. Quarterbacks love this. Anytime a team comes out with no free safety against us because they're worried about our run game, the quarterbacks get excited. You see the saliva come to the side of their mouth. They get so excited about seeing this. It's a home run play. It's a simple three-step drop game. And that's a sling T switch. Okay, let's look at some game film of the Sling T switch. Okay, this is a cover three. It's a 3-3 three, three defense, 3-5 three, defense. We're going to run our switch down here. You're going to watch. Corner's going to disappear. We're taking a short route now. We're occupied. Let's watch that one time. We're going to occupy the strong safety and free safety with the out.